What's up guys, welcome back to our classic zombie series where I go back and play all the zombies games and maps that I've missed out on throughout the years. And in our last video, we held a vote in our Discord to see what map you guys wanted to see me play next. And you guys voted for Dead of the Night. So today, we're playing Dead of the Night for the very first time. All right, here we are on Dead of the Night. And I just got done watching the cutscene. It sucks that I can't show them. Otherwise, the whole video will get copyrighted. But this really just looks like great the Great Gatsby, the zombies map from what I've seen so far. But I do like the theming. It looks pretty cool. Uh, I just hope it's as good as you know some of these zombies maps have been on bo4 i don't feel like it's missed very much besides voyage and even on voyage i really like the theme of it it's just a map uh got a little repetitive to play look how nice this is big old statue all these fountains whoever had this mansion is loaded but it looks like we need to get the artifact to get part of this map open a big portion of it actually let's rack up some cash real quick i guess is this the only way we can go i don't see any other doors Everything's blocked off by the artifact. That's weird. I haven't seen a spawn room yet that only has one way out. I guess we'll go this way. Only way we can go. Damn. We got all these statues in here. Those are definitely stolen. Double points, please. Insta-kill. Eh, that works. So many artifact doors. This map is going to like double in size once we get it. Oh, wait. Here's a workbench. Have we missed any parts? I don't think so. Let's open this up. Get a little more area to breathe because these zombies are already taking up all these halls another artifact door there's so many oh is that the artifact that was easy where are they going where are you guys running to oh shit oh do they just run away when we're activating that so we don't get stuck up here oh this is sick what a cool area for a perk Got all the flowers and everything going up the steps oh and double points perfect timing because i'm like out of ammo pretty sure there's a shotgun wall by over here We'll take that. All right. Anything on this side? Any items? Not looking like it. I got to be walking right past all these buildables. Oh, there's a whole area over here. Oh, what's up, bear? All right, well, let's move this way. So far, I'm very confused on the layout of this map. A lot of these areas just blend together. I wonder if there's going to be any special zombies on this map or what the dog round is going to be like. We made it to our statue room. Can we actually go outside? No way. What the hell is this? A portal to the upside down? Where's Vecna at? I think I'd rather gargle ball sweat. Did he just say, I think I'd rather gargle ball sweat? What the hell? I'd hit anything by here because I just cornered myself. And this dude's talking about drinking ball sweat. Well, let's backtrack to spawn and see what opened up. This looks like something we can pick up. A crystal. Can I even pick this up? Or is this a soul box? Let's see if it's a soul box. Looks like it. Look at us figuring stuff out. Does this not fill up the soul box? When I use this or is it done? Well, let me just use this till it goes out so we can get this leveled up. Can I pick this up now? Oh, I can gaze into it. What? That's one of the park machines. Okay. Weird. Don't know what that did. What would even be the wonder weapon for just a house and a mansion? There are a bunch of artifacts around. So maybe like a stolen artifact gun. I don't even know what that would be. And there's another workbench here. Oh, wait, it looks like it already has stuff on it, though. Yeah, additional parts required. Maybe it'll be like an old musket or something. Oh, shit, what is this? I was just talking about it, and then we found something. Looks like a crazy revolver. Probably an insanely complicated process to get it, but let's see if it's in the box. The daemon. No mat. What do we get this time? Last cargo. Don't want it. Is this a burst SMG? That's messed up. No. Shout out Dying Wish and me being an idiot. I was panicking trying to hit my special weapon. Didn't realize I didn't have it loaded. Okay, well, our, our vision showed us one of our perks. So let's try to find where that is. Oh, wait, there's another thing right here. Another crystal. Let's fill it up. All right, let's take a gander at this stone. It's just going to show us another perk. No, this one's a clock. Okay, so perk and then clock. This really is the Vecna map. What's through here? More outside. This garden's giving me a little buried feel. I mean, not this area, but the outside. Oh, they got Venus flytraps over here. 10 bucks that those Venus flytraps will be part of like some sort of thing you gotta build. Or they end up eating a zombie. This is a cool little laboratory. Is this another stone we have to fill up? No, that's a part. Anything up the stairs? Just a bunch of steampunk stuff. I'm so lost. I got no idea what's going on in this map. Oh, here's another perk. We got stamina. Give me that. There's another buildable bench. Yep, additional parts required. Uh-oh. Stay back. There's so many buildable benches on here. Oh, my lanta. Oh, and then we hide the face cam. 
There's just so many slots for items. I could have swore I just said hold for part at the bottom of the stairs. I'm gonna go check that out. Once these zombies kindly come up the stairs. Get the hell out of here, please. Am I high? Oh, no, I see it. I wonder if this is part of anything that we already have. Oh, that's a shield part. Oh, there's another part for something completely different. Oh, there's so many parts on this map. Oh, here's the clock. What do I have to do by the clock? Kill a zombie? No. I feel like there has to be another, like, soul stone we have to fill up. Because everything in zombies comes in threes. You always need three parts for something. There's always, like, three pack of punches, or at least in Cold War there is. It would just make sense. Can I do anything with this clock? Interact with it? Shoot it? nothing and we've seen three out of the four perks we're missing one area i don't know where oh we haven't opened this up oh the basement oh here it is let's fill this up oh, that looks cool saw this in my nightmare godfrey this is some diary of wimpy kid shit okay we got it filled up let's look at it and a scroll a restraining order oh here's a part oh we have all the parts for something let's try to find a bench and see what it builds okay after we anywhere but here oh we can melt the silver Okay. Let me grab this. What do we get? Just hot iron, hot silver, Firegate energy core. What the fuck? I'm definitely going to need a guide for this map. <laughs> I can't figure this stuff out on my own. If you gaze in the stone again, is it different? I don't think I ever tried doing it again. Nope. It's the same thing. Oh, we haven't gone this way yet. Okay. Let's open that up. Zombies eat a wraith fire. Oh, we got a nice garden over here. Some walls that we haven't opened. All right, let's go this way. This map is huge. And the trees are dancing. Oh, shit. This is a whole grave site. Oh, and there's our other perk. We found it. Give me that. Oh, what the hell is that? Uh-uh. Is that that dude from Lord of the Rings? The dude that really want the ring? Fuck off. Why they drop from trees? What is this? The steps are on fire right here? I don't get it. I like how it doesn't say this guy's name or anything. It just says died. 1945. Holy shit! Thing does a lot of damage. Damn. Died 1950. Are these all the characters for the map? Is that what that is? Because my dude got a cowboy hat. That guy got a cowboy hat. Come on. Nobody else wears cowboy hats besides th this guy right here. That guy don't got a cowboy hat. Like, come on. The evidence is right in front of us. So this is kind of like buried. Are those supposed to be like the witches? Do they take away my perks or anything or my money when they hit me? Now this one's not moving. Got him. Why am I close to death? Oh, they dropped something for me. A tuning fork? There's way too many things to pick up here. I'm gonna miss everything. Wait, I just saw something. Zombie, fuck off. I'm trying to pick up a part. Stop hitting me. Okay, pick something up. Some dirt. All right, well, I'm officially lost as if I wasn't before. I'm even more lost now. This map is making zero sense to me. Is there anything I can do with this hot metal over here? This looks like I had a bunch of crafting tables. Maybe it goes to one of these. Oh, no. Shit, if I do it. Is this a part? No, that's a rock. There's no way there's not a part in this huge ass dining room. There's got to be something here. Oh, it's another clock. Hold on. Set clock. Oh, we have to stay in this. For how long, though? It's nice that they're sending like zombies at us like one by one. Oh, we survived it. Let's go. Where did we get out of that? Oh, another tuning fork. So I'm assuming... Oh, shit. We're going to need one more tuning fork. And that's probably going to be from uh, one of the things that we got a vision for. We just got to find where that little restraining order is at. And one of those perk machines. Oh, is this the one with the clock? Can I even view it anymore? Do I have to reload it up? Whack. Or is that the one I already did? If that's the one I already did, then that was pretty close to where I needed to be. So let me try finding the other ones. Yeah, I can still view this one. So we already have the two tuning forks for the ones that we already did. Now we just need to find where this deed is at. So whatever I'm looking for, let me take another quick gander at it. Okay. Whatever I'm looking for is near here. Or at least based on the theory that I made up. One more spin for the wonder weapon. Holy shit, did we actually get it? No way! It's right here, too! What are the chances? That was my third box spin, I think, and we got it? The Alistair's Folly? This is crazy. What does this do? Oh, it shoots green. Now I'm conflicted. We already have the Wonder Weapon. We didn't have to do some stupid puzzle for it. Do we just continue with this run? Do I go look up a guide now? I think I will. I think I'm gonna go look at a guide. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. I learned a few things. The main thing being that uh, this map is just stupid complicated. There's so many puzzles, so many steps to everything. But I do know how to get the shield. I do know how to get 
Pack-a-Punch on. And I started watching a guide on upgrading this thing. And there's like 45 steps to it. So I'm not, I'm not doing it. But the shield part right here. Our last part for the shield should be somewhere over here. It's not on the table. Oh, I see it. It's over here on the couch. There we go. Now, where's a bench? Where can we build this thing at? Here's a workbench. Let's go ahead and make our shield. Come to Papa. And we should probably go ahead and get all of our perks back. But I found out by watching that Pack-A-Punch guide that this thing is like stupid complicated to do every time. You can show a random image every time like you look at one of these crystals. And I would have never found this scroll on my own. So let's reveal it. We're going to have a little ghost come on over. And now we have to follow the ghost. Where are you going? Go ahead. Take your time. That zombie just died. Okay, cool. Thanks for killing my zombie ghost. Oh, yep. Go through the wall. The classic. Is it in here? Lady, you better not get me killed. I'm just going to smack all these zombies around real quick. Hold on. Oh, I didn't even see what happened. We just have a tuning fork now. So we can go open up Pack-A-Punch if we so please. And I think I'm going to do that. Honestly, I don't know what to do after we get Pack-A-Punch. I think right after we get Pack-A-Punch, we're just going to try to go for as high round as possible. Because there's absolutely no way I'm going to go through and upgrade this thing. I don't have an extra four hours to spare. And it'll just be me going back and forth in between the guide and the game. And that just sounds annoying. Well, let's use our tuning forks. Open up our upside down. Oh, jeez. Please don't die here. Oh, shit. I forgot about the werewolf. Yeah, the werewolf kind of got spoiled for me. But like I said, there was going to be no way I figured out what the hell was going on in this. Oh, we already got it killed. Idiot. Get owned. But anyways, Pack-A-Punch is right here. Can this thing be Pack-A-Punched? Nope. Only upgraded through a very complicated process. Give me that. Ooh, the pack cam on this map looks crazy, though. This is nice. Let's just keep packing it. Does it change colors? It does. Ooh. All right. Zombies, I'm going to need you to fuck off for a minute. I'm trying to pack a punch over here. Pack a punch it again. Oh, there's a lot going on over here. Oh, no. Anywhere but here. I'm out. I might have just wasted my gun or left it there, but that's fine. I even have time to put my cam back on until now. I need to run back there and see if I can still get it. Is it still over here? Oh, it's gone. It ate our gun. That sucks. Time to fast travel. Well, at least that gives us a chance to find a gun that we like and pack a punch it. Because I just kind of pack a punch the only other gun I had. Eh, maybe we hit the box for our next weapon. Was that an M16? It is. Eh, let's use it. But I doubt that there's an M16 wall by anywhere. Actually, what we should do is go scout out places that we want to train at. And then use whatever weapon is closest to there. Because we'll just be able to buy ammo for that. And I'm thinking maybe here right next to Atlas. So what's over here? This is the welling. Oh, the Mozu. What's the difference? Okay, so maybe not this spot. There is also a bunch of hidden rooms on this map, but you have to hit like a bunch of books that have symbols on them in a certain combination, at least for the first room that I saw. I think there's another one where you just have to melee it with uh, your shield, which we could try. I don't know where that is. Is it this one? Oh, it is. That was easy. And it has this part in there. I have no idea what that does. I think... There's some way we can make silver bullets for this. And then we have to take a werewolf out with it. And then we need to pick up whatever the werewolf drops. And then we need to kill more werewolves with the upgraded pistol. And then they drop bile. It's just a whole lengthy process that I don't really care to do. TBH. But I'm just going to hit the box one more time. Whatever weapon we get is the weapon we're going to use for the rest of the game. It's the Mozu anyways. Okay. The double revolver. Actually, I lied. I don't want to use the Mozu. I caught this on classified and it was garbage. All right, let's use this. The, cor the Cordite? Uh, that changed my mind. I'm just going to spin the box till I see a cool weapon. Something that looks better. Oh, the Peacekeeper. I think I've actually heard good things about this weapon. And it's pretty fire and apex, but it's a shotgun. Well, let's just go pack a punch this. And I think it's fully packed. All right. Now let's see how high of a round we can get to. Why is the house shaking? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Why is the werewolf inside? You're supposed to be in the woods, buddy. Oh, that's fucked up. You need to die. Thank you. Are you not dead? There you go. Get teabagged, idiot. Where's that laboratory at? I think that'd be a fun place to train. Found it. What's this trap do? Let's just try it. Oh, shit. That fucks him up. I don't know what it is about this map, but it's just like not catching me like the other ones did. I think it's just because it threw so much at me by having like all these buildables that I have to grab when I have like most of them actually. But it's just the steps in which it takes to get to them, to get to pack a punch and everything. It's like, it seems like such a daunting task to try to overcome before even playing the map really. 
I don't know if it's because I'm I'm kind of tired. I'm kind of burnt out from uh, like bulk recording before I go on vacation. Or if there's actually like an overwhelming amount of stuff to do on this map. I don't know if I'm just being dramatic or not. But I do really like the theme of it. I think it's cool. This Wonder Weapon's kind of eh. Maybe it's because I got it out of the box. I didn't have to work to get it. But this kind of feels like the K4 from uh, what's it called? Zetsubo no Shima. But it's not like pulling me in. Like, am I am I the only one that feels like this? Uh, have you guys played this map and you're like, eh? Like, same as me? Like, am I the one that feels this? Uh, am I just being a little bitch? Because personally to me, like, I don't mind watching like a guide or two if they're like short trying to figure out like, you know, how to get Pack-a-Punch, what to do, where to go. But then when all those processes all need like long guides for them, I feel like I have to... Like I'm doing a homework assignment to figure out how to play this map. And I don't even remember where I built my shield at to go get another one. Like I'm just so lost. Shout out Dying Wish for saving me right there. All right, new mission. Find wherever the hell I built that shield at. It's gotta be like on the top floor somewhere. Oh, there it is. Right by it. It's anywhere but here because I'm gonna corner myself. There we go. And now a new mission. Find where I was just training at. Back to the lab again. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Chakras go. About to align all your shit. Oh, damn. We just messed up that whole group of zombies. They had no chance. Oh, there's another werewolf. What's up, bitch? You want the chakras? Eat them. Eat a wraith fire, too, while you're at it. And then guess what? Wonder weapon for dessert. Little asshole. Let's try to lead the werewolf into the trap. Set it off. Do it get him? Let's go. Get owned. Oh, your mouth is in a perfect place, werewolf. The tea bags. Oh, no. 31 health. Ooh, slid right past him. Night, night, bitch. No, no, no. What? All right, well, our final stats for that game. 1,285 kills, 192 headshots, zero vibes, three downs. Eh. I don't know. There's just something about this map. I like the theming. I like the big werewolf enemy. I think that's pretty cool. The, the vampires are all right, but I feel like they're just throwing way too much at me. And I really couldn't consume it all. I just like could not get into this map. But with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So if you guys like this, you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't dislike, if you're new here, please start to subscribe and put all kinds of COD content throughout the week. Uh, let me know how you feel about this map because I'm just like really in limbo about it. It's just eh. Also, if you want to keep up with me while I'm been on vacation, go ahead and follow my Twitter and my Instagram. I should be posting on there. But uh, that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.